Today I have an unboxing of Skylander Spyro Adventures for the Nintendo 3DS. I know this game came out a few months ago, so there's plenty of unboxings and everything on it, but I just picked this up. I'd been wanting to get it for quite a while, but since it was $70, I decided against it. It's actually on sale right now at GameStop for $50, and my mom actually gave me the money for a Valentine's Day to pick it up. So I went out and got it. I decided on the 3DS version over the PlayStation 3, just because after watching reviews, the 3DS looked like more fun. It's more of your classic platformer type, and that looked like a lot more fun to me, so I picked up this version. While I was out, I went ahead and got an individual character pack too. Um, I got Boomer. These character packs, for some reason, are already becoming really rare and collectible, and I just don't see the point in it. The games are still pretty new, and they're still in all stores, so I don't know why they're limiting them in stores, and you have to buy them really expensive online. So I just went ahead and picked him up, since he was one of the only characters available that I didn't have this element. So I'll go ahead and unbox him in a second, too. So let's go ahead and open this up. Um, first, the characters it comes with, sorry for the bad lighting. This one does come with Dark Spyro, which is an exclusive for the 3DS, which is the Magic Element, Igniter, which is the Fire Element, and Stealth Elf, with the, which is the Life Element. On the side, it just shows you what all it comes with, which I'll show you in a bit. There are two additional worlds you can buy. I think they're like 20 or so a piece retail. I don't know what they go for online now, um, but you can buy those to extend your game a little bit more. Here it just shows you some more characters that are in the same elements as the one in the pack and a little bit of gameplay. So I'll go ahead and open this up. Okay, first I'll go ahead and take the game itself out. Just your regular DS case, of course. Um, it doesn't have a color manual, but there's the game. Next is the Portal of Power. Um, the one in the DS version is a lot smaller than the ones that comes with the consoles. If you haven't seen unboxings or reviews of this before, you set your characters on here and it reads them and spits them right into the game. You play with the characters, level up the figurines, and all of their information is actually saved on the figurine. So if you have a friend who has the game, you can take it to their house, plop it on the portal there, and all your information is saved. And the one for the 3DS is wireless. It reads through the 3DS through its infrared port, which is pretty nice since you're probably going to be on the go with it. It does take batteries, which if I can get them out, are right here. It comes with three AAA Duracell batteries for your portal of power. Here is the USB cord to hook it up to your computer. Um, there is stuff in here so you can play online and do stuff like that. So there's the USB. And here are the three figures it comes with. Here's the dark Spyro. Um, he's probably not quite as dark as he looks in the shot because of the lighting. Um, but these are built pretty nice. They don't feel cheap at all. Um, they're not movable. But I think this is a really good idea for a video game. I know a lot of video game players, especially collectors, like collecting figurines too. So having a game that actually uses and incorporates the figures into it, it's a really good idea for people. People are going to want it. It's also a great marketing idea for the game. If you think about it, you buy the starter pack for $50 or $70, but a lot of people aren't going to be satisfied with just the starter pack. They're, they're going to want to go out and collect these different individual characters and scenes so they do get more experience and hours out of the game so the company is going to be constantly making money off that so from both a consumer and a company point of view it's a very good unique idea for everyone so there is the spyro here's igniter which is the fire element um i really wish it would have came with i think it's eruptor the big fireball dude i think he's a lot better looking but I'll probably never have him because I'm just going to try to get one of each element for now so I can try to do all levels, all parts of the game. So I really don't want to double up on elements quite yet. And the last figure it comes with is Stealth Elf. Um, she's pretty cool looking. She's pretty small. Here are the little sensors that when you click it on the portal of power, it will light up when it's on and everything. And the information is saved in the chip on there. 
Next we'll take a look at all the paperwork and posters and everything it comes with. If I can get it out. So here's just the paper thing. Here are the cards that they come with. The one for Stealth Elf. It has her stats on it. I don't know if you can read that. Each one have different stats. Um, they have like defense, speed, luck. So depending on what character you have and where you're at at the game, you'll have to take one off and maybe put another one on pretty quick so you can do the best part in the game. Here's just the Skylanders logo on the back. And there are the cards. They also each come with their own little sticker set. It has the Skylander sticker on it, the sticker with the little character and his name. So I guess if you're like maybe displaying them on a shelf or something, that might be kind of neat. Here's your starter pack, which is all your information about how to get your game going. More information. And the last thing in here is the poster which shows all of the characters available. If I can zoom out a little bit. So it shows all your different elements with the Skylanders up top. So there you can see all the different ones. I'll probably never have any of these just because I do have the Dark Spyro, um, even though I really love Double Trouble and Wrecking Ball. Um, there's the other element. There's a few. Uh, there's eight elements altogether. I have four right now, and there's four I do not have yet. So there's all the different characters you can collect if you can find them. Um, like I said, they're really hard to find in store already, which seems kind of silly to me. But I guess people are making money off of it. It just kind of stinks for people wanting to play through the game. Next, I'll go ahead and open up the individual pack, which is Boomer, which I believe is a tech element. Um, if it says Boomer, bring the boom. Not sure if you can read that. And on the back, it just shows you how to get him in the portal of power and shoot him right into the game. I kind of wish they would have put these in packaging. That was a little nicer to keep, so if you wanted to display it. But, of course, they didn't. Okay, here's more information just about how to hook everything up. Here is his online code. Um, I'm not sure where that code was for the other ones. I'll have to find that. Here's his trading card once again with the Skylanders, just like normal, with his different stats on there and his sticker sheet with all three stickers. And here he is. Um, he is actually pretty heavy. Of course, a lot heavier than Stealth Elf. Um, he's probably about the heaviest one of all of these. Um, I just really like the design of him. He was definitely the favorite one that they still had in store. And I needed this element because he does this element does not come with the starter pack for the 3DS. So let me get this cleaned up a second real quick and show you the main items that come with the game. So here you have your portal of power with your connector, the 3DS game itself, the three figurines plus the extra one I purchased, your trading cards, stickers, and the poster. So that's everything you'll get with the starter kit and one extra Spyro's Adventure pack. Um, I might be doing a review on this in the future. It just depends um, what you guys think. I know there are a ton of reviews on it already on YouTube. So if you would be interested in seeing me do a review, maybe a little bit of gameplay on this, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If I get enough comments, I will go ahead and do a little review for this. Um, if not, I just won't worry about it. Um, I will tell you how I like it, though, in video game pickup number four, which will be coming in maybe like a month. Um, so that is it for this video. Until next time, keep it simple.